Yeah, I've always loved doing music. I've always, um, music has always been a part of my life. I think the time just wasn't right for it. And at the right time, everything started to be orchestrated by God and I'm here now. But I've always loved music. I tried to do music before, but I was discouraged because I was still in school. So my parents wanted me to focus on my studies and, you know, get done with college. But after that, I, I moved on with life, you know, I just did other things. I started doing photography, other things. Then for some reason, the music just came back to me. So it's just always been in me. That's okay. all I can say. Can you tell me about your experience about your school? Uh, I went to, I attended Federal Government Girls College, Shagamu. It's a federal school, very good school. It was a boarding school too, obviously for six years. I mean, I had, I had a good time in school because it taught me a lot. It taught me about how to hustle, to get what you want, how to protect what you have from, pe 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 from people getting it from you. You know, you get streetwise in boarding school. When you're in boarding school, you just learn the game. It just happens like that. So that's where I got a lot of my street moves from, boarding school. Cool. Shout out to Shagam. Yeah, okay. Shagam, uh, Federal, Federal Government Girls College Shagam. Okay. Did you do music at all in school? No, I didn't. I didn't do music in secondary school. What was your, what occupied your mind in secondary school? Honestly, in secondary school, the most things that occupied my mind was about the next step. And I was always thinking about what am I, because I just always felt this thing inside of me that, oh, you're going to be great, you know, like, I always, it's always been there. But I just didn't know which direction to go, because I have a lot of things that I like to do, you know, so... In secondary school, I was more interested in what do I want to study when I get to university? What do I want to be? What am I trying to, like, what's the next step? How am I going to make my mother proud and, you know, give back to her? Because she sacrificed so much for me. So that's just always been in my mind, secondary school. You did not mention to Unilag to study mass communication. Yeah, I went to Unilag yeah. and I did mass communication. And the music happened to you? In yeah, well, in Unilag, my first year in Unilag, I did music for a tiny bit because I had a cousin then that um he had a record label so he he saw something in me but I didn't even see that in myself yet so he saw something in me and was like yo come join the team but honestly I didn't even understand music at that point you know music everybody hears music is good and pleasing to the ears but I didn't understand the fundamentals and the concept behind music until I started singing in church but I had already stopped doing music before I started singing in church so singing in church Help me really understand music. It helped me understand how to sing, you know, for long hours or whatever. How to back up people. You know, when you sing in a church, there's a lot of there's a lot of dynamics. The keyboardist can be playing off key, but you have to follow the key. You as a singer can be singing off key, but the keyboardist has to pursue you. You know, so it's just I'm 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 thankful to God that that was a part of my journey because I probably won't be here right now if I didn't sing in church. But that really added added to it. I learned a lot from singing in church. What did for you join to that in South America? Oh, so I relocated to the States after I finished from Unilag. And you know as Niger been now. It just everything just day one kind, you know. So I moved to the States. Shout out to my dad. And you know, I was in America. I wanted to go to film school. Living in Nigeria, I had intentions to go to film school. Like, oh, I'm just gonna go to film school and become a filmmaker. You know, my camera is my lover, all of that stuff. But as time went by, I just wanted to do something else. You know, I felt the need to just be a part of the force. Like, I wanted to do something that I felt like was greater than me. You know, like, okay, I wanna be a part of something that makes, you know, where I could learn a lot, a lot of skills and get experience and also get the contacts that I need to succeed in future. You know, so I've always loved the army anyway. So I was like, all right, that's where to be at. And you know, it was kind of, I wasn't scared. You know, at first, you know, my mom, I felt some type of way telling her about it, but eventually I just told her, but she, she took it good. She didn't even take it the wrong way. So thank God for that too. And what has been experience so far? In the army? Yeah. Oh, it's been beautiful. It's been a beautiful experience. Good people, different cultures. It's a lot. It's a lot to learn being in the U.S. Army. You know, 
aside from shooting you know it's a lot it's a lot of stuff to learn you know you learn like basic tactical moves like coming in here i already looked left right i'm already understanding where the nearest exit is just in case something goes down how to escape you know it's it's beautiful I'm, I'm so proud to be a part of it i feel very good you know i'm thankful to god that that's how my story my story went you know i'm really thankful came to you in the united states of america yes is it because of the environment or because you had always wanted to play with it well peace of mind the environment and also even even though i had the u.s army and a lot of people see me as accomplished I still felt like there was something empty instead there was something I needed to do. I still felt like I wasn't fulfilling my purpose, you know? So this day, it was a random day. I just woke up one morning and I was like, I need to go to the studio. So I hit up a producer that I knew and I went to the studio. He thought it was jokes, you know? He was laughing and all of that, but I'm like, yo bro, I just want to sing. I just like, I just want to hear my song. Like I want to record and have it for myself. And I'm not trying to be an artist or nothing, you know? So. I told him the hook that I had. The hook was a long time hook that I had from when I was doing music in school. I was like, okay, this hook, I have it, but I've not built the song. I don't have the verses yet, but we could work together. So I sang the hook and he, you know, just structured a beat around it. Boom, we made the song. And the story is, is, is God, man. Because when I dropped the song, that was the day that Bankuli found me on the internet. Talent manager. Yeah, Bankuli. How would you describe your experience with Bankuli? Oh, it's been, it's been, it's been, it's been, it's been graceful. That's what I would say. You know, God has been good. He's been a good big brother, daddy, whatever I could call him. He's been, he's been, he's always been there for me. You know, he's helped me to break through doors that I naturally wouldn't be able to go through by myself. You know, I would, I wouldn't deny the fact that being having Bankuli on my team has really given me a great pedestal you know, compared to other artists that are just coming up. So I really thank God for that. So it's kind of what has it done for you? What what value has it added? It's added a lot of value musically with the connects. He helped me meet David. He's, he's really put me out there on his own social media pa platform. There's places that I go to that people come to me and they're like, oh, I know you from, you know, Bankuli. Those people that have never known me if, if um, Bankuli didn't post because that's how they got to know me. You know, if it was just me doing my thing, I probably wouldn't be here talking to you right now. I won't be in Nigeria on this trip because it would just be like a regular thing, you know. But Bankuli has added a lot of values. He advises me, even personal issues, you know, like personally, musically, financially. He's been there for me. So I can't even deny that. And I really do appreciate it. Shout out to you, boss. How will you describe your character with the video? Oh. David is a great guy, man. He's, he's the guy that I look up to, you know. I love him as a person. You know, his, his person is what I need people to like. I don't know, he's, he's just a blessed guy, man. You, you need to meet that guy. He's a loving person, he, you know. He, he, knows, he knows that he has privilege. He understands that he's privileged, and he also understands that there's people that's less privileged. Now, that doesn't create a barrier between him and those people. He tries to bring everybody on the team, you know, bring everybody along. You know, like, there's, rare, there's, there's really people, there's few people that could do that. Because when people are eating, they don't want you to come eat. But if you're eating and you want people to join the table, that's just blessings from God. That's, that's the only way I can describe that. You know, he's a blessed guy, and I really appreciate him. He showed me a lot of love. For every time I meet him, it's always been good vibes. You know, so I thank him for that, and I appreciate him. 30 BG. Yeah. Like, like Tiwa Sabi, you know, she repeated from the United States to Nigeria. The way you are doing it, do you think it's possible you relocate to Nigeria? Yeah, God's plan. You know, like I always tell people, there's things that humans can't control. You know, there's certain things that you don't even know how tomorrow we go. You know, but if there's a platform for me here, that's something I could definitely look into. If there's a structured platform, you know, and there's a plan. We have the funds that we need. I'm ready to record forever. You know, I'm not scared. I'm, I'm here for this. Do you plan or look forward to any collaboration with any Nigerian artists? Yes, I, mean, uh, I, 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 I surely do look forward to collaborations. You know, I have a song with Lighter already. 
yeah and um i'm looking forward to making music with other artists you know you know like there's there's a lot of people to make music with but it's always it's always good vibes with me you know i want it to be good vibes i want it to be on a platonic level you know i don't want to be struggling out here to i don't know if you understand what i'm saying you know i want it to be you know i don't want a situation where i want to pay someone to make a song with me i want it to be oh i f with your vibe i like your music and i want you to i want to be on a song with you that's that's what i would love but yeah looking forward to to that i'm looking forward to that what about the position of your parents right now in your career in music? um my mom she's she's very supportive She's very. My mom's been very supportive of of my music. You know, she sees how it's going, and she knows that I got it. She hears my voice even when I was singing in church. When she said I couldn't sing, and um, I started singing in church, she'd be like, "Ooh, glory!" You know, she does that. You know, so I'm like, I'd be confused. Like, how do you say I can't sing, but I'm singing in church and I'm dancing? So you know, like, she wants you to sing, but sing in church. Don't sing in the in the world. But right now she's she's really supportive of my music. She understands that as an artist, you don't even know how your day is going to go. You can say you're going to the studio and from there you meet somebody else somewhere, you know, like so she's been she's been very supportive. She's not stressing me, she's helping me. She advises me too, you know, with how to talk Just dancing, life goes on, on you. Same thing. <laughs> has love been fair to you? Love? Yes, love has been fair to me. Love has been fair to me. I'm a lover, not a fighter. And I show love everywhere I go. Love here, love there. You know, good vibes. That's that's all I preach, man. Good vibes. Love is not until you're having sex. Love is love. Like when you have a pure heart towards the neighbor next to you. Right? So it's not about you know, copulating or getting babies or nah. Love is just how you feel about someone or how someone makes you feel. You know, it doesn't have to be sexual. I'm being serious. But I'm a lover. Like, oh, there's always love in my heart. I barely hate on people. Are you in a relationship? <laughs> yes, I'm in a relationship. But um, I like to keep my private life out, out, of, out of the music world. We're married, we're going to get married, make babies. My mom is going to be very happy, you know. But yeah, 
relationship yeah but nothing crazy you know it's not, i'm not trying to put it in the music it's two different things you don't want to malians no belt guys yeah. <laughs> don't mind me guys well malian i believe being a malian does not necessarily mean that you're a tout it's just the it's just the movement you know it's a good movement i like the vibe so yes i'm a malian Tell me about the Lock Body Vibe. How did you feel about that? The name, the Lock Body Vibe. When I first started this music thing, um, my name I wanted to just be the Lock Body. So I realized that some some other some other person already had that name. She's an artist too. She she had a pretty good following. So I'm not trying to like do that to nobody because I wouldn't appreciate if someone does that to me. So I'm like thinking like, what can I be? You know, like honestly, that name was sent to me from God. Cause um, it just came to me the Lakwa divide. I'm not even good. Like it just came to me. It came to me because I had I had spelled my name at the Lakwa a different way with D. It was a D with the dollar sign, L A P U. But for some reason people couldn't read it. They were like what's the like what's what's this? So I was like okay, I'm gonna switch it up and make it easier for people. So I feel like the Lakwa divide. When you when I step into a room like. I have a very strong personality, and I know that for sure. So that's a vibe, you know. That's a vibe. So I'm the vibe. That's how I came up with the name, the lap of the vibe. Now tell me what you don't be caught wearing. What well, I wouldn't be caught wearing? <laughs> I wouldn't be caught wearing a a short dress. I wouldn't be caught wearing a dress, a skirt. No, I wouldn't be caught wearing that. It's nothing, but that's just my style. That's just me. It doesn't. I don't feel comfortable when I wear those things. Like it's like I'm, you know, I can't even walk well. So <laughs> I'm just being real with you, man. Like I'm not trying to hold back. You're my, you're my, you're my daddy right here, man. So okay. I wouldn't be caught wearing, um, yeah, that's dress and dress skirts. I can wear a dress. Don't get me wrong. I've worn dresses before, but you know, skirts like all those Miria Maka skirts. You won't catch me wearing that. If I'm gonna wear a skirt, it's gonna be like a tight, nice, body fitted skirt, you know, that shows my curves. Feel me? <laughs> yeah. Can we have you do you want your song? Oh yeah. If I ride long by me be a deal, it's you that I need. Baby, you want you call you more for my logo. It's you that I see. Baby, let me kiss and caress ya. If you stay me, no go stress you. I go undress you, yes, impress you, finesse you. Everything I buy too, one for the money and two for the show. The lock but where you did, now where myself go go. This kind of love you did make me want to love. I want to make you know, say now you I go follow. Baby, ni tori e mo ya wo. Ni tori e mo tu jek be se. Ni tori e mo ga ya mo tu. Ni tori e wo ta le koko. <laughs> Thank, you. thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Your My brothers and sisters, I thank you all for supporting my music. You know, this girl from you people just found out on the internet. I appreciate you guys for the love and support that you show me. Especially the people that I never met and the people that I don't even know. I have no idea that they know my music. I swear I really do love you guys and I appreciate you. Please share my music, subscribe to my YouTube channel, tell your friends about me, tell your girlfriends, your boyfriends, your sugar daddies and mommies. Let everybody know about me, please. Because there's more to come. I'm dropping another song. It's titled Owo. Owo, akwe kanuko, baba loke dami lo, owo, akwe kanuko, yeah. Baba loke da mi lo mo. Baba make you give me your blessings. Make you shine your blessings on me. I'm begging for mercy. I'm begging for mercy. Yeah, so I'm not going to sing the song. So now go listen to the song when it drop. You know. So please follow me on Instagram, the Lockwood Vibe. Twitter, the Lockwood Vibe.